Colitis, this one, hypersensitivity. Alveolitis, a mixture of type 3 and 4 allergies of the respiratory zone and restrictive disease because of the fibrosis in the respiratory areas. So with that, let's start pathogenesis. So as I just said, that this is a type 3 and 4 allergy mixture. So, or hypersensitivity type 3 and 4 type mixture. So, let's say this is the respiratory zone, this green area. What does that mean? This is the area where the respiratory exchange, gaseous exchange can occur. Let's see what happens. Let's say an allergen came in. This is an allergen of known type, hay, farmer's lungs, actinomycetes and other type of things. So, let's say something came in. What will happen here? Let's deal with type 4 first what will happen is we have to look at Arthur's reaction. Arthur's reaction. Remember type 4 is serum sickness and Arthur's reaction. Arthur's reaction is the localized inflammatory response to some allergen. So, let us look at that. So, what happens is when the allergen comes in, so let us say it is here, the local macrophages pick up that allergen and they break it down. These allergens are then presented on the macrophage as on MHC2. MHC2. Remember, macrophage is an APC antigen presenting cell. So it presents the allergen on the MHC2. When it presents it on MHC2, what happens is that the localized T cells become active. Now, before that, also remember this, let us say there are no T cells here yet or very tiny amount, very small amount that is not enough to create a reaction. Remember that these macrophages from here will also run and go to the lymph nodes. So, let us say there is a lymph node here or there is a lymph node somewhere here in the axillary region. So, the macrophages would go to the lymph nodes. There, the macrophages will present the allergen to the T cells and B cells. But let us start with the T cell. So, here is a T cell. So, let us say this is a CD4 helper T cell presenting with the MSC2, presented with the MSC2. So, let us say this is a T cell receptor. Then macrophage would release IL12, which will, which will make the T cell activated and T cell would release IL2. IL2 that would cause the T cell to become proliferated. So, there are going to be many, many T cells now. These T cells are going to run back to the area where the allergy is happening. Right. So, now what will these T cells do? These T cells in turn can do a couple of things depending upon what lineage becomes active. So, let us say that we have IL4 and 5 coming out of the T cell. If that is the case, plus, wait, this also is that interferon gamma is released as well, right? So now IL-4 or 5 or interferon gamma and remember that these are separate kind of T cells, right? So either T helper 1 or T helper 2 type. We have done this in detail. So as the IL-4 and 5 is presented, that causes the B cell to, to become active, right? And B cell become those big plasma cells Plasma cells are pregnant with antibodies. That is why they are plasma cells, right? So, they start making lots and lots of proteins. So, their nucleus becomes eccentric and they are filled with the antibodies. These antibodies are going to be released. So, when the antibodies will come here, now you know that there will be antibodies here. That would help in the inflammatory reaction as well. So, that is one thing plus the antibodies are now going to become loaded on the other cells too. Second is the interferon gamma. When the interferon gamma is released, that activates the macrophages. Now, an active macrophage is a dangerous macrophage. What does that dangerous do do? So, if this was the active macrophage, it produces more nitric oxide, it produces more reactive oxygen species, it does more killing. Plus, in addition to the killing, it of course releases chemoattractants and cytokines that cause local inflammation. 
that local inflammation, those substances plus the neutrophils come in and the damage start happening, that inflammation would cause damage. That damage when that gets repaired will get scarring and fibrosis. So that means what you have to remember is this, the hypersensitivity pneumonitis is it has two phases, write it down, acute or chronic. In the acute phase, you do not see fibrosis right away, you see the inflammation present. So, 4 to 6 hours after the exposure to the antigen, for example, a farmer went to the farm and was doing something to the hay, came back all feverish and dyspnea and, and coughing and sneezing, what happened? He has hay fever or let us say there is someone who is allergic to cats and goes into an area where there is cat and dander and cat's hair are present and within 3-4 hours starts you know sneezing and coughing and has difficulty in breathing. So, what is that happening? That is the acute reaction that is acute hypersensitivity pneumonitis. The late reaction or chronic reaction is if the patient stays exposed to these antigens on for a longer term then what happens is the, the damage would start occurring and fibrosis would occur that is a repair and that fibrosis would slowly cause the scar to shrink and the lung would re become restrictive, right. So, here the macrophage has become active and it is starting to cause inflammation. So, what kind of cells as a result of type 4 hypersensitivity you would see here? On the acute phase you will see neutrophils to come here that is these are the chemotractants you would see T cells to come here, you will see macrophages to be here, you will see some plasma cells to come here, acute, acute neutrophil T cells, chronic granulomas. That is why this type of hypersensitivity pneumonitis is also placed in the granulomatous pneumonitis. And Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure that you like, subscribe and share this video. Like it if you like it, if you do not like it then do not like it and then uh, subscribe if you want more videos. We upload uh, videos regularly. So, if you sub subscribe to the channel, you can get a notification and the video will appear in your inbox. And if you hit the uh, bell button as well, then you can get the notifications for this as well.